Welcome back to yet another tutorial in Matlux VFX. Here I have a footage and I'm dragging that into the tree window. Let's create a session as screen replacement. Leaving all other settings as default, click on OK button. So here I have the footage inside the viewer. I'm deleting this template for now. By mistake I rendered it in wrong color space. So keeping it as sRGB. Let's play the footage and see it once. So in this footage, we are going to replace this screen with an element. I'm going to use Mocha Pro and Silhouette here. The movement of the screen is kind of tricky. Let's see how easy is replacing a screen in Silhouette, of course, with the help of Mocha Pro. So first of all, I'm going to show this element which we are going to replace in the screen. I have screen recorded this in my mobile and importing this in Silhouette now. We have lots of challenges here like the resolution, track and blending. So let's do the track first. I'm going to use the OFX version of Mocha Pro for that. So here we can see some pipes. I'm connecting this to the input, arranging this a bit. We have some pipe for adding or inserting any element. I'm connecting this into the element. Here we have the properties of Mocha and there are lots of useful stuff over here. But we are going to click on this launch Mocha UI button. It takes some time to open the software interface. Here we have the footage inside Mocha Pro. No hassle. So I'm going to draw a shape right away. Take the explain tool. I'm drawing over the edges. Right here. Shapes can be rough here for tracking. So this is my shape. Now I will take the X plus tool for adding a spline over this as to subtract some areas so this spline should be here to avoid reflections uh, while we track you can see the mat here which excludes those reflections here we can see lots of options which could help us in filtering uh, the track i'm keeping this here and leaving the properties all default let's try once and here we are tracking okay one more thing to do is to set the subsurface according to the mobile screen it helps us to keep an eye on the track so i'm gonna adjust this a bit stay tight okay all set i guess we are good to track now Oh no, our track is sliding a lot because of the rotation. So there is another option for getting this track to accuracy. That is the angle properties. I have linked a video in the card where I explain the process. Check it out. So here I'm going to give a value of two and let's track and check. Okay, still it's sliding. So here I'm doing one simple trick. I'm going to manually adjust the shape a bit and show the path for track. There are so many properties which we can tweak to get this track done. Let's see now how our track accuracy is. Here we go. This time it's better, right? I'm gonna stop here and let's increase the angle value a bit more. I'm sure it can help us value of six now let's track and see you can see now our track is way better than the first time uh, but I can see some more sliding happening again which was which can be tweaked so coming back to this frame and let's set this value as nine I'm sure this is against the principle but uh, sometimes breaking rules helps tracking again Wow, it sticks nicely this time. I mean, hats off to this tech product Mocha Pro. Almost finishing. Yeah, it's done. 
Wow, you can see the track is awesome here. Perfect. I'm going to turn off this preview settings here and also turn on this stabilization option to check the results. Yeah, I think the track is fine, at least for this tutorial purpose. Turning off this spline and let's check with this subsurface. This looks awesome. I mean, for a screen com, the basic is ready. If you have still sliding, we can fine tune this bit more with this edges track settings. The newer version of Mocha Pro has advanced edges track settings. I think we are good with this track. Here we have some options like link to track and we have insert clip and I'm inserting our element here. Wow, awesome. Almost our comp is done here itself. Let's play the footage and check. And you can see here it really looks nice. We can render it here and use as final or export this to silhouette and comp it over there. So even the rotation looks so blended as our track is so perfect. So let's save this file and get back into silhouette. Here we have the Mocha Pro node and let's arrange this a bit. Little bit here. And into the properties here, we have some options to import matte from Mocha into silhouette. So inside module render, we have some options which is very handy. We have render and module. And inside here, we have lots of options like lens output stabilized and reoriented outputs, remove module renders and also insert out. So selecting that and click on this render checkbox. Hola, this is cool. We have the pre-melted result here and it looks like we have track for that too. Now we need to comb this in the plate. So we can follow lens distortion pipeline also with this method. I'll try to make a tutorial on that soon. Now I'm going to launch Mocha again. Let's wait till it gets loaded. So select this spline and here we have options uh, for exporting the track. So I'm going to export this track as silhouette corner pin, copy to clipboard, save the file and close Mocha UI. In silhouette, we need to take a tracker node to import this tracking data. So what is the tracker node? Here it is dragging into the node tree, press control V to paste those tracks and let's apply these tracks into a layer. I'm naming this as screen track. You can name it as anything. Now we have the track. Let's start the comp without mocha render out. Adjusting this a bit. And now we need to apply track into this element. For that I'm going to take transform node. And here we have the transform node and let's connect this node with this element. Next we need yet another node to merge both and we have math composite node here. Let's place the track over here. Always make sure to keep this script neat and tidy. So this looks nice and let's connect the pipes to both input and element to merge both. So here you can see the result and in the math node properties we have blending options selecting screen from this drop down menu. Next I need to adjust this element to fit into the mobile screen. Stay tight I am going to do that. I think this looks good. Now let's do a quick playback and check. Oh no, the track is not sticking. We have connected everything perfectly, but somewhere we missed it to hook something. So um, hold on there and let's go to the transform node properties. Over here we have this transform options. Before that, I'm going to connect the transform node into this tracker. Um, I'm just leaving this pipe as it is. So here we have all those tracks from tracker node. Selecting the screen track here should fix the issue and make sure the node is match move. Let's view on this math node and check. So I think the issue is fixed and our element is combed over there beautifully. Awesome. You can see the reflection is maintained here. By any chance if you need to grade something over here, take the color correct node and adjust. Connect this to the element. Viewing over the composite and select the properties of CC node. We have lots of settings here to tweak. 
hold tight i'm gonna do some cc i think it looks awesome and here in the mac properties we can adjust the level and black clip sliders to blend even more let's give a value of 75 so we are almost near an end result now if we check the playback we can see that we are missing motion blur to get motion blur quickly take the properties of transform node we have an option here I mean down here we have motion blur click on this checkbox and you can see the result here and let's check with the comp result I mean this is so easy and it looks brilliant no other comp package just silhouette and mocha I mean at least for a basic shot like this we can get an awesome result later we can tweak this comp with more filter nodes and also if you have sapphire it will make your comp more realistic make sure to add some grain later Let's adjust the nodes a bit and I think I will add a slight blur to this element. So here we have blur node, just drag it here. This value is too much, let's give a value of 2. We want the final comp here. I think we need to reduce the blur so 0.5 is fine I guess you can see the difference if we disable the node and check so our final comp is ready so this is just a stepping stone practice more by using variety of nodes inside silhouette and if you learn something new give a thumbs up to this video and comment down your thoughts I will meet you in next tutorial till that take care be safe